Iesāc, iesāc, ja tu gribi. Jā, ok. Mēs esam laivā, ok. Jā, un tagad mums, mums vajag vagaidīt, kamēr būs uh, jā. cilvēki. A, mēs redzēsim, cik mums skatāk daudz vai nē? Nezinu. But, ok, yes, so if anyone's already watching, hello. I yeah, guess we'll... Hello. I guess we'll wait a little bit for some few more people to join us before we start uh, asking our questions. But like, we just wanted to say, this is so cool. <laughs> me, <laughs> me and Asia will probably see each other like soon tomorrow. Is practice tomorrow? Uh, yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we'll see each other tomorrow, but we get to talk with each other on this Facebook Live. So that's very, very nice. Um, we have some questions prepared uh, from what you sent in yesterday. And uh, we'll also answer some questions from the live comments. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you... and I think we need to introduce ourselves. So oh, we yeah. are a team from Latvia. We are beach volleyball players. So we are one team. Uh, my name is Anastasia Krivchenoka. And my name is <laughs> Tina Graudina. And uh, we're both uh, I'm 22, Nas is 23, right? Three. Yeah, we have one year difference. And yeah, love the end. Say hello. Okay. <laughs> so do you want to start or should I? You can start first. first. Okay, so Nas, can you please describe to me how did we first meet? Because I don't think I remember that well. <laughs> So this is a difficult question, but I think we met uh, in a volleyball court that was, I think it was indoor volleyball, it wasn't beach volleyball. Yeah. Uh, we played Latvian Championship in age groups and I played for my hometown Daugopils and Tina played for Riga. Bolderaya, Riga, yeah. yeah. And I remember that Tina was uh, a good player. She was a leader in her team. <laughs> she had good block, uh, but we won her team easily. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, I remember that your team was so, so good. Like uh, all the other teams were kind of scared to play against you. And you were the leader in your team. And your number was 13, which was like the unlucky number. And it felt it, like it even... It's lucky number. <laughs> It's your lucky number, but for all of us, we were like, oh my gosh, she's so good, and she's so scary, oh, scary. and it's like, oh, we'll lose. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah, I guess that's good how time, we met time. first time. But yeah. then we met on in beach volleyball a few years later, but also playing against each other. So yeah, that's nice. So what else? We played against each other beach volleyball. I think our first game in. Uh, was also a Latvian championship. It was a final, and we oh. have a very strange rule that we played third set till, till seven, seven points. <laughs> okay, but not till seven that's points. It. And yeah. I was playing yeah, against was playing you, against and yeah. that's the I I clearly remember that's the first time I ever did a block in a, in a game. I was we were like yeah. 14, 13 something. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Last, so, I think, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's where my blocking career first started. So that was a cool, cool moment. You were good, you were good, Tina. Thank you. Okay, so... Okay, question. question for you. Name a match there you were like, wow, my team is in a fire, on the fire today. Well, my teammate, yeah. Are there really... <laughs> yes, there's a lot of matches like that. Um, <laughs> I think that um, what I think, of course, so we had the crazy matches in like Haiyang against the Czech team and in European Championships, but I actually remember one from um, Vienna Major where we played against Gerson Kaluri. Oh. And, no, <laughs> or was it against, it was, uh, yeah, I guess it was the Swiss, against the Swiss girls and you like had 10 aces against them. Remember against remember Swiss Swiss girls? girls? No, but remember oh, it was Czech. It was the uh, Kvapilova uh, Kotsalova. Kubica. 
Kubitschkova. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was like 11 11, and then you went and literally got like 10 aces in a row. And I was like, damn, my <laughs> partner is awesome. Like, I, I it was literally just standing by the net, and it was, yeah, I didn't have to do anything. Now I remember this game, yeah. Okay. So, I was fire, yeah. Yeah, you were fired. <laughs> um, okay, so next question for you. Uh, if you really had to leave Latvia and move to another country tomorrow, well, which country would you choose? This is a hard hmm. one, I think. <laughs> yeah, this is a hard one. So I like Australia very much. I like Sydney. I like the nature there. And I think it's a good place to play beach volleyball. <laughs> there are a lot of beaches. So... Yeah, it yeah, would I be a, a good Sydney. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. Someone says Dubai. You've been to Dubai, right? Yeah, I was in Dubai, but I think it's expensive and it's not, there is not beautiful nature. There are beautiful buildings. Yes, it's really clean city, but I like Sydney more because it's like a combination of blue ocean, yeah. and green green nature yeah what about you tina um i, I don't know i, I like <laughs> australia as well but yeah it's very difficult yeah i, I don't want to answer this question <laughs> you can ask me you can ask me the next one <laughs> okay at the tokyo olympic qualification tournament then did you realize we were going to win it <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, first of all, the whole, whole tournament was just so wild because we advanced to the next round of pools as the last team always. We were like one game. We had three games in a row where we had to play to win or either we lose and we're out of the tournament. So actually until the very last game, we were like, okay, this is like a 50-50 chance. Either we win and go to Tokyo or not, we lose. But then in the third set, of course, when we were down, I kind of felt like we're still fighting for every single point, but you know how it feels when you're down, but yeah. So yeah, I actually, it was such a surprise to win and that's why the emotions were so, so wild and like so strong at the moment when we won. Cause yeah, cause otherwise, yeah. So that's- Maybe you realized only then when we won, yeah. when we really when we won, actually won, when that's you serve an ace and when we run. <laughs> Yeah. Right <laughs> um, okay. Um, okay. Which team do we always have a tough time winning against? So a team that we win, but it's like a really tough game. I think every game, no? Yeah, every game, but let me think. Huh. <clears throat> That's a really difficult question. <laughs> um. It's uh, like the Czech girls. We played once uh, Maki and Bada, and I would say also Bra Brazilians uh, Fernanda and Barbara. We won them two times, but it was really hard game both times. One was in Portugal, and the last one was in Kstad this year, like last season. Um, but there are so many great teams. Uh, it's like if like, you don't. I would say Spain, Liliana Elsa too. Uh, uh, Poland, yeah. actually Poland. Actually, uh, uh, yes, because we yeah. we played them three times this last season, and yeah. every time we it's such a rough game. We are like either down or so close, and at the end we somehow make the two points point advantage and we win the game. So yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay. So, next question for you. Which team do we have a fun time playing against? Fun time? Mm -hmm. uh, I was so excited so to play excited. against Laura Ludwig and Maggie Kozuch uh, when we played against them in Czech Republic, in Ostrava. It was like, it was so cool because that, that was the season when Laura came back and I had only seen her on TV. I had never actually like, we both had never actually had been in the same tournament with her. So to get to play against her, it was really cool. And at the end, I think, yeah, we also won them in three sets. It was, yeah. it was really fun, but it was so stressful. <laughs> Very stressful. Yeah, this whole tournament was like so much fun. We played, we won 
Laura Ludwig and Maggie Kozic, and then we played against uh, <laughs> Kerry Walsh and um, uh, Brooks Sweat. Yeah. Brooks Sweat, yes. And then we lost, but Ostrava every time is good because I think that we had fun playing against Sada Hughes, Hughes and Summer Ross. <laughs> Why am I no, 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 not Summer, but your oh. partner. Yes, yes. Summer, Summer. Yes, yes. Ross. Ross? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it was also in Ostrava and it was so good game. We lost it, but we fight in three sets. It was great level, I think. Yeah, good memories, definitely. Yeah. I miss playing tournaments. <laughs> yeah, me too. Don't cry. <laughs> um okay. Now you're No, it's your turn. No, I asked you oh. about fun playing. Oh. Fun okay. time playing against. Uh, what song you like? Uh, which songs would make up the soundtrack of our team? And then you have to sing the two lines. Okay. I think it's like. It's so difficult questions because I never know the name of each of song. Of songs. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, what I about. Actually, the what the soundtracks that the DJs play in the tournaments they are so catchy that like I, I'm like singing them to myself right now like I have downloaded the Bella Ciao song and it's like it's because it's so I don't know it's so energizing and uh, yeah but I think it would be some kind of Latvian song like from Pratova to Let's what with Let's yeah 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 okay. Good choice, good choice. I approve. <laughs> so next is, is there no rules in your life for a day and you can be outrageous? How would you spend it? That's a difficult. <laughs> it's like the movie where there's no rules, right? And everyone just comes yeah. robbing and killing. Huh. Well, I don't think I would do anything illegal. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, I think I would I would try to go somewhere where there's no people like in nature I really like nature like tourism travel and hiking and stuff like that so I'll, I would try to find a place there and just relax I don't know how about you I don't know that's really difficult but I like to imagine then that is, it is a zombie apocalypse, and that what I will do. Yeah. And yeah, I, I thought about it a lot that I have a good house to live in, <laughs> that I have a good amount of water inside and a lot of food. Okay, so yeah, you're prepared. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope I'll, so. I'll come live with you, okay? For. Or yeah, I will wait player. for you. Yeah, <laughs> and we will play beach volleyball outside and kill zombies with a hitting <laughs> with a surf. And <laughs> okay, so it sounds like a good plan. I feel like you have all the details for it. You'll, 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 yeah. <laughs> you'll save it. I, I am prepared. <laughs> okay. Um, um, it's okay. Uh, can I ask you this question? Next yeah. one. Okay. Um, how would you? sum up my beach volleyball skills in one sentence in one sentence mm -hmm. hmm. okay i can start with you no that's <laughs> my turn <laughs> you are european champion champion with a good block and good spikes from the second ball Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. For me, I would say I would, I would not like to play against you. <laughs> Which, that's like the best compliment ever because yeah. you don't ever yeah. want to play against the person you don't want to play against. I feel like you're just like, um, you like are sneaky in all your little cuts and everything. But then you like when you get angry, you like hit so hard, and it's like, where is this coming from? <laughs> So, so yeah, that's yeah. How I would describe you. Thank you, Tina. Okay, who is with us? We again, we are a team from Latvia. My name is Anastasia, and this is my teammate Tina. Hello. Yes, Tina. Yeah. And, and I think yeah. 
and I hope that you enjoy staying with us. Comment below how you like it, how you <laughs> like our answers. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Which question is it? Um, when was the last time I annoyed you on the court? <laughs> um i don't i mean <laughs> honestly i don't think yeah like the completely honest answer would be like not really you i don't think you annoy me at all because like what i value the most in, in my partner is that like i trust in her to like always give 100 percent it's it's like even if it doesn't if the play doesn't work or if you make a mistake like as long as i believe that you're actually trying from your whole heart then like i don't get mad or or like frustrated or at all um yeah so i don't get annoyed i'm kind of calm person on the court i think so <laughs> I, I think so i mean yeah I except some situation yeah except but when too, i yeah, make yeah. a mistake and then i try to hit the same ball again and it's still a mistake and then i'm like ah, and i'll hit it again oh, yeah. yeah it sometimes happens with everyone but yeah i think you are you are quite calm except some some situation but i like then we like speak a lot that we need to stay calm and we really trust ourselves and we trust in each other and we believe that we are fighting for the each point yeah yeah i think that's the most important problem yeah for sure okay um what's the funniest joke you have heard from me i have heard a lot of good jokes from you oh really that's... Yeah, I think we have a fun time every time together. Do you remember one of the jokes? Because I don't remember anything. <laughs> Can you please help me? <laughs> but then you brought me home <laughs> and I forgot the key from the doors. Do you remember? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this situation was a big joke. Uh, then I step up on a shit. <laughs> And then Tina helped me to get over the how to yeah, say fence. Okay, York. so the situation was that Nastya uh, didn't have the keys to her house, so she had to get over the fence. And the good partner that I am, I offered her to step on my back to jump over, <laughs> but she had poo on her shoes. <laughs> she stepped on my on my back with her dirty shoes, and I had like my whole i was stinking so bad <laughs> but i didn't know that and yeah. she, uh, tina was standing and like do you feel this smell and i know <laughs> what happened and then, and then i saw my boots and tina's back <laughs> and they laugh a lot <laughs> yeah that was that was a good one okay um yes okay your turn um Name a man's team on tour when you want to play. Ah, I again. think uh, name a woman's team on tour that you want us to play against. Oh, I really want to play against uh, Duda and Agatha. We haven't played against them ever. Yeah. Um, yes. And I would really want to play against um, uh, against Kerry Walsh again as well. But it, it's, uh, yeah, of course, I would like to play against everyone. No discrimination here. Yeah. Which team we never played against? Mm. Like, we never played against Duda Agatha. We never played against uh, some other teams. I think one more team is uh, somewhere which we don't remember now that we haven't played against yet. But I think pretty everyone pretty much we have played pretty sure yeah um okay um how would you describe yourself when you are on the sand competing concentrated uh seeing a goal of winning a game and trying to be calm and smart <laughs> yeah that's a good one yeah 
uh, next question for you. What's your most embarrassing moment on the court? Uh, okay, some of the very embarrassing moments are when I try to do a jump serve and I throw the ball too much into the court. So I like, so I like jump with my whole body over the line just to touch the ball and to poke it over. And then I usually like trip on this line or like just fall and yeah, that's, but you don't see it cause you're like with your back on me. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, it's uh, it's very funny. Oh, and also I have my handsets going through to my face a lot of the time, so that's pretty. It's uh, but I'm already used to it, so it, it's not even embarrassing at this moment anymore. It's just like a fact. Yeah, again. <laughs> so yeah, my nose is not really happy about that. Do you remember anything for you? Um, the most embarrassing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I didn't have like a situation like that. <laughs> yeah. Not, not. Um, that's, that's good. Yeah. Because I try to surf over the net <laughs> inside the court. It's happened when it is a mistake, but yeah. And yeah, things like but that. I don't like then <laughs> you try to handset and then both hit you. On the nose. Yeah, because you're like prepared <laughs> to go in the into the hit, and it's like Tina, what? No. <laughs> Especially then I got a ball in the defense, <laughs> where it's like a close game, and I'm okay. Try to be calm. Everything is okay. Tina is trying her best. Yeah. But you're you're you're, you're now you are better. Your handset is better now, comparing. Yeah. <laughs> Things and I have the whole summer Last to years. make it even better, so that's good news. We will work for it. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so somebody is asking, which of your competitors would you like to play with? Oh, with that's cool. Okay, so which blocker would you take next? To <laughs> I would take Kerry Walsh or Talika Clancy. <laughs> yeah, I would want to play with Talika Clancy as well. Like she's so cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would totally go defense for her. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I think. I mean, there's so many great defenders out there. It's like Laura Ludwig, Maki, Duda. Uh, yeah, any of them. I, I actually would like to try defense a little bit myself as well. So <laughs> that's what you, you should. Yeah, I hope <laughs> we should work on your blocking a little bit more. Yeah, we will do it. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would like to try with Talika Quincy because she is like fast and she jumps high and she's high. And with uh, Carrie Walsh because she's a legend. And uh, to try this atmosphere playing with her on the court. Yeah, I think she out. has like unique atmosphere, unique. Um, feelings how she's playing and to try it i think it's like a privilege mm -hmm, definitely okay so what's the best advice you've ever received that has affected your life in volleyball or my uh, life at all just, just in general i think <laughs> huh i think the best advice was uh, to think wise and to set a, a, a big goals, not just become, for example, Latvian championship, but become an Olympic champion. <laughs> and I think it, it was like, it, it was um, a lot of years ago. And this advice gave me my coach, Janna from Daugopils. And she had like a politics like that, that you need to set a big goals to yourself. And I completely agree with that because you need to think wise and become a better person every day. And if you like, the, like, I think when you set a goal, for example, to get the fifth place, mm -hmm. we will, you will not get it. You will become a ninth. But when you set a goal to be first, if you become a second, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, still, it's still good. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, yeah, for me, it's like um, I've kind of realized the power of like, like trying of being positive and like 
smiling, you know. <laughs> yeah, or, or I know. <laughs> or physiotherapist, uh, uh, Mahad Second, he always says that we have to smile. Like, if we smile on the court, then it's like, it's it's double bad for our opponents to see us smiling uh, all the time. And I feel like it also helps us on the court and also in life in general. Like, if you smile, it's like, it first of all helps yourself and also people around you, like, start to act differently if you see that you're positive all the time like positive will attract also positive contrary to physics laws so, that's true yeah yeah i completely agree with you tina and i know that when we are smiling but it's everything good on the court yeah yeah so <laughs> <laughs> okay next question uh, there are so many great players and athletes without an Olympic gold medal. Do you think a gold medal defines someone's legacy? I don't think so, no. I think the gold medal in the Olympics is very, very nice to have. But as beach volleyball is a little bit similar to tennis in the sense we have the Grand Slams and and the season has so many other good tournaments and world champs. And I think that... The Olympics are very important, but at the end, they are just one tournament. And in beach volleyball, also, you have to be extremely skillful to win it, but luck is also needed. So I think you can be a great player and like be a legend and leave a legacy behind, even if you haven't won a gold medal. Yeah, um, I completely course, agree with you. <laughs> of course, everyone's going for it. And I, I don't think you become a legend by not trying to get it. Like you that obviously have to have it in your goals but it's it's fine if you don't make it as well um yeah okay uh Nastya, do you have any tips on how to be a good defender hmm. yeah you need to wait a lot and then run but mostly you really need to see what your opponent is doing and then just need you need to stay on your position and then and wait till the end then balls is going over your side and then you just need to run right. but mm -hmm. i think as for me when i was younger it was very difficult to be in a place and wait i was running on a different sides and maybe sometimes i'm doing the same right now mm -hmm. because i think it's difficult to just wait for the moment okay sounds good how are you playing on defense, Tina? <clears throat> How are you? What are you doing? Uh, me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I when you when I'm going to block and you stay. I try to think. Um, I I don't know why I'm thinking very geometrically. Like you know, like okay, the angle there is like very very. <laughs> it will probably go there. <laughs> but and I also try to look at her hand, like see if she like will hit or cut, but. <clears throat> so much harder to see it i don't know when i'm in block i see a lot of the times if she will cut or shoot but when i'm in defense i don't think i see it that well so that's a difference yeah, yeah. but same for me than in blocking i like see what they are doing it's easier i think you are closing and you can see you it better see it so much better yeah yeah but when you are in defense it's so much harder okay <laughs> good good yeah. good and any tips on how to be an offensive blocker? Um, I feel footwork is very important. You have to like line up against the player very well. Um, and but the, there's so many different styles for blocking. There's some blockers who like jump very late and like back from the net, and they catch so many balls that are going down. I am more of a like try to go over the net blocker and uh, I think for me that works the best and probably if you have a good jump it will work better for you as well and yeah to um it's it's a lot of feeling it's a lot of type of like intuitive things because the seconds that you have to react are like it's hundreds of a second and you have to put your hands in that or that direction so I don't even have like ways how to tell step by step how to get a block it's more mm -hmm. you have to just train the feeling a lot so 
So yeah, we'll see. good luck everyone yeah. with walking. It's it's a tough it's a tough thing to do. <laughs> yeah, everything depends on details. How you put your arms over the net and, oh, and position of fingers. Yeah, and it's so frustrating when you get a block on your on your elbow because you can't like move your elbow in the right direction. It's just, it's just how it will hit the ball. It will, it will go that way. So yes, if you have your hands, then you can position them very well, but with your elbows, there's no chance. So yeah. that's why you have to jump over um, and up. <laughs> and sometimes when you have a ball between your arms, it's also so bad feeling that your position were good, your even time of your jump were good, but you just need your your hands closer to each other. Yeah, I have I have big hands, so some like I think the ball can go yeah. through. Um, okay. Um, do you have, we have questions in, com in comments? Okay, let's answer that. Uh, how important is movement in beach volleyball? I didn't see like, lateral the words. movement. Lateral movement. It's like lateral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, can I answer? Very important. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's very important. <laughs> Just as Nasty said, uh, I'm currently working. We're working with our physical coach very much on lateral movement because it uh, depends uh, on in service receive how fast you can move to the sides and. Uh, then it's your pass can also be better if you have good sideways movement but i feel like beach ball ball especially for defenders to move sideways for blockers to move along the net it's sideways it's it's like such an important um, movement and i think it's even more important than just running forwards sometimes at least for me in yeah. blocking because i don't have to run forwards that fast a lot of times but yeah. I think that in beach volleyball you have more lateral movement than back and forward because as in um, defense you need to move left and right and as in um, passing is the same like the small steps left and right is all, all the time. Yeah and I know for me it definitely isn't my strongest part of my physical uh, uh, abilities so yeah we're working on it. Um, yeah. Which other sport do you like to play? I love tennis. I used to play tennis myself for five years. And I also did track and field. I did heptathlon, high jump. So that's why I love high jumping. And uh, yeah, I like those sports very much. Mm, yeah, I like tennis too, to watch tennis. Uh, but I never played like a big tennis. Uh, we, we want to play beach tennis. Beach. We want to try. Yeah, I'm going to play on Saturday beach oh, tennis. So cool. <laughs> yeah, but I like basketball and I played basketball in school. I was quite good. Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> for, for the school level. For the school level. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, quickly. Um, do you have a male beach volleyball player who you want to switch days with? uh can you repeat i wasn't concentrating <laughs> do you have a men's volleyball player who you want to switch days with um i need to think about man who really is enjoying life and have fun because i think this this is the main idea of living that you need to enjoy every moment of your life and that you need to do that you want to do don't that uh, you need to do okay so, so cool. um do you have an answer on this question let me think yeah i, I think okay i do have an answer i would uh, really want to switch lives with uh, the austrian guys the doppler or horse because i feel like they're like celebrities in Austria and they get these cool uh, Red Bull photo shoots like on top of crazy things and stuff like that I feel like it would be very cool to switch days with them if they have something nice planned out nice <laughs> good idea <laughs> yeah now uh, you can take it 
that this is difficult. Every question is difficult. Uh, I would say that I would switch life with Oleg Stoyanovsky. <laughs> I think right. he's a great guy. He's very friend friendly and kind. And yeah, he plays volleyball very good. He's physical and passionate and also he's funny and yeah, yeah. <laughs> i would definitely want to be a world champion for one day as well that's that's a little bonus for sure um yeah okay um okay next question tina and describe your dream home my dream home is definitely next to water I have grown up with water by, by the sea, so somewhere there. Um, and it also has to be with nature, like definitely not in the city. I have to have my own garden, but obviously that's an exclusive thing in our days right now. So <laughs> I don't know if I'll get it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see about it. I feel like yeah, you, have planned, would... you have thought more about your house and stuff like that than me. Yeah, I would like I I would like to live in the nature because I like then it's forest is very close where water is very close to this house. I like to have a breakfast outside. Yeah. And yeah, I like house there I live now. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm lucky and we'll see. We'll see what happens. How how will look my future house? Okay. Um, do you have? Do we have an important match that we lost, and what we should have done to change the result? Uh, I would like to change the result in a Rome final when we played against Swiss girls Anouk and Joanna, uh, Berge de Pre and Heydrich. It was a good game, but we lost in the free sets, like fifteen, twelve, or something. But I really enjoyed to play in the Rome finals on the central court. The atmosphere were great, uh, was great, and like the full stadium, white sand, and playing in the evening with all lights. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I would like to become at least fifth, then ninth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was not. And I also game. like to play against Swiss girls. Yeah, that's true. Me too. Um, yeah, I think uh, for me, I was really sad about getting silver in under 22. Oh, yeah. In, uh, three years ago? In Yorma. Uh, it was in, in Yorma, yeah. Yeah, in my hometown, we lost in the finals against Makriguzo Holomina. And uh, even though I was happy at that moment about the silver, like now looking back, it was not nice. Yeah. So that's what's something yeah. I would change. And uh, what was bad about that match, we just, I don't think we were very prepared to play exactly against that team. We just went in like, okay, final, let's go, let's do our best. But we weren't, yeah. okay, this is the plan. We will do it like that and that. Um, yeah, okay. this is the point how we, how is our progression is going because this year we were prepared almost for each game. We watched the video analysis and we had a plan in our head but previous years, I don't think that we had. No, we just went like in that. like, let's see how this goes. And now we are more, yeah. more analyzing the future games. Um, okay. Yeah. A few and we have questions in the comments. Let's answer. Mm -hmm. uh, please introduce your coach. How would you describe his? Yes. Okay. So we've had actually two coaches already and right now our coach is Andres Krulmins. He's uh he's actually my first coach uh for when I was like a lot lot younger and we asked him to join our team this uh in this winter a few months ago, ago actually so we haven't uh been on tournaments with him yet but he was with us last year with in a lot of tournaments as the second coach. So yeah, I really I really enjoy our practices right now. I, I'm really loving them. It's like something new and like it's really cool. Yeah. 
And yeah, he was with us last season. He was going like assistant coach and he helped us a lot with video analysis and preparing for the game, warming up. And I think we had a great atmosphere in the team. And I believe very supportive. that. Very supportive, yeah. very like logical. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And um, next question in the comment, Tina, can you read it? So because Anastasia, about Duda? No, no. How do you see? Uh, how do you see? I don't. I don't see. I like have a black line on my computer. How do you see, how do you see Duda in the future? Ah. Many teams say that she is the stronger player in the world. So this question is for you. So. I don't think we haven't played against her ever. So of course she's such a wonderful. No, we player. played once. We played oh. once against Duda at World Championship Under Twenty One in China. It was three years ago. She played she with Anna Patricia. With Anna Patricia. Yeah, we lost. I think I think maybe after this Olympics in Tokyo, she will play with Anna Patricia. I, I don't. It's only my opinion, but I think it will be very strong team. They are strong with Agatha now, and with Anna Patricia, I think they also will be very strong team. Uh, she is very friendly. <laughs> Duda, she is also every time smiling, and she is strong and fast, and she reads the game very good. Yes, so we can't wait to play against her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so some of the last questions, and I guess we'll be done by then. Um, so describe our team in three words. Uh, passionate, smiling, and... Tough. Tough, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this season especially, we had so many games where we came back from being in the minuses that it's like, we don't give up. Yeah, I feel like I'm patting <laughs> on my own back. Like, <laughs> we're so good. we're so strong. <laughs> yeah, and what's the best thing about being a beach volleyball player? Uh, the lifestyle. I really love the lifestyle of beach summer. It's so cool. It's like very trendy, I think. But beach volleyball, just in general, I love the feeling of of being in a team but also being the star on the court and also the the interaction with the other team the fact that it's the the game is so beautiful like i sometimes just watch other teams play and i feel this surge of emo emotion of how nice and beautiful this moment is and to be i love the feeling of moving people that are looking at my game like when I do a block and everyone's like oh so nice and it's just such a nice feeling to impact other people with what I do and that's that's the best yeah I think we have so beautiful sport like the most beautiful sport in the world because we have a great location on the beaches or in the center of the town how it was for example in Vienna or like uh, how it would be in Paris or in Rome so like the beautiful locations a lot of people great and beautiful game with a lot of passion and it, and it is strong and fast and situation is changing every time so i recommend everyone to try beach volleyball to play and to be in this atmosphere mm -hmm. and i also like traveling that we travel a lot and we are in a different cities in different locations and now i really miss i i want to go to the training camp not on the competition okay competition is not allowed right now but uh even in the camp to train two times in a day somewhere to go to the practices and yeah i like it uh we have questions in the comments. The question is, what are you going to buy with your first per paycheck? Mm. It depends on an amount. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, we've asked it. We have had this question before, and it's like always. I'm very actually. I don't need a lot of stuff right now. I feel like I'm pretty happy right now. But I think you're kind of the yeah. same, right? It's not yeah. like I'm missing something very much. Um, okay, and what's your proudest memory you have of us as a team? Proudest memory. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it is a game on the Olympic qualification tournament when we were down 7-12 and we get through it. Uh, I'm really proud about us as a team because we really believe in ourselves and I felt this atmosphere that we are fighting till the last point and very and we really did everything like I serve aces you serve aces too and you hit on the second ball and I got balls in defense so like in the end of the game it was like perfect I think like, yeah it I could be better I agree that's true um and which cartoon character reminds you of me? I don't know. I don't watch cartoons. I ha I didn't also watch when I was smaller. Do you? Do you have something in mind? About you? No, about you. <laughs> about me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I like never think about it, but. Uh... Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter yeah. that much. Okay, so we have some last questions from the comments. Um, yeah, by the way, thank you everyone who watched this and thank you yeah. if you enjoyed our game the last season. It's, we'll try our best to be even better next season. And somebody's asking what will be your goals for the next season? Uh, I think at first we need uh, to make it to 12 best teams to get a good place on uh, Olympic pools. Uh, and then, yeah, to show the best result in Olympic Games, to enjoy this, our first Olympic Games, and just play and fight for every game. I think a good one would be also to try to get a medal on the FAVB, right? Yeah, but yeah. That would this is a. <laughs> this I, I is our goal. Yeah, I wouldn't say no to that. Um, and yes, um, okay. I, I think, think we have something else. We have. I have one more question in my list, and we have some questions here. Uh, so, Tina, what makes our team special? I think spe special is that we're so different. Uh, for example, even in the in the service reception, I mean, it's it looks from the outside so weird because we're in such different poses uh, waiting for the serve. And um, I think what's special is that we, I think I don't know. It's hard to say. I think for other pe teams, it would be easier to tell what's what's different from to us from other teams. Maybe that we go on two so much. Maybe that it's like. I don't know. I just I just like to play volleyball. I feel like we also maybe play with a lot of feeling, you know? Like you would just feel where to go, so you just go there. Something like that. Yeah. It's every time difficult to speak about ourselves and yeah. just about yourself. Uh, yeah. And would you like to beach volleyball has international teams, not only teams from our country, uh, from one country? Wait, say it again, sorry. Uh, would you like to beach volleyball has international teams, oh. not only teammates from one country? That would be very interesting. Uh, it would mean that I would probably not be able to live in Latvia, that we would have to like go meet or partners in different countries you know so i'm not sure how happy i would be about that but that would be very cool very interesting i i no, think so i would like it but i don't know we can try something like in tennis then you lost individual game you can play in doubles you know yes. these teams who are in eliminated can play doubles with international teammates that would yeah. be interesting after the whole tournament 
Yeah, that will be cool. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. We, I think we're going to end. But before that, we really want to say thank you to everyone who's going to listen to this or is listening. And we want to say especially thank you. We have more questions. We oh. have more questions in the comments. More questions. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you said you like tennis. Do you have favorite players? I have definitely some play favorite players. Um, I like, of course, the the famous three, Djokovic, Nadal, and Federer. They're awesome. But I like the younger players as well. I like um, Zverev, Tsitsipas, Dominic Team. I like really uh, cheer on for or Latvian girls, Yelena, Aljona Ostapenko and um, Nastya Sevastova. So yeah, I follow a lot of tennis tennis players. I think it's all, it's such a hard sport. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, we need to say something in Latvian. Yes, because Latvians are the best fans we have. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, our fans are so crazy. They're always like in, in the world championships. It was so funny. There were like 20 people just traveled to the tournament and like we're cheering for all of our games. So, so yes, uh, liels, liels paldies jums par yeah. to, ka jūs mūs atbalstat un, un par to, ka jūs ticat mums un tā kā vienkārši visu laiku tā kā dzenat mūsu priekšu ar saviem labajiem vārdiem. Un, uh, un jā, mēs, mēs centīsimies. Mēs tikai mēģināsim, jā, iet uz priekšu, priecāt jūs ar mūsu labām spēlēm, ar mūsu smaidiem un emocijām, un ceram, ka jūs turpināsiet mums atbalstīt, un mēs jūs mīlam. Jā, tiešā, jo gal galā plumos volejbols bez skatītājiem, tas ir, tas nav plumos volejbols. Tā kā, paldies jums. Jā, ceram, ka pēc pandemijas mēs visus satiksim, un jā, un viss būs kārtībā. Tiekamies Latvijas čempionātā. Jā. Jā. And for our international fans, we also send a good, kind messages. And thank you for your support and that you watched our live. And I hope that you will join us in some tournaments and we will be very happy to see you. Yes, exactly. Like, thank you so much, for real. Okay. All right. Bye, Nastya, I guess. Yeah, bye. <laughs> see, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you. <laughs> bye.